Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and uh, welcome to another segment of On the Bench here of Sport Fishing on the Fly. I'd like to bring you another one of my favorite lake flies. This is uh, my version or the improved Little Brown. It's a fly that originated, I got it, uh, the little brown nymph from my friend Moral Stout out of Utah, an old client of mine and some good buddies over the years, a good lake angler and one of his favorite flies. I've changed this up to a, a soft hackle version and put the um, underwing in here, which I want to show you, really makes this fly work very well. It's an improved version. I know it's uh, one that I would really recommend to any lake angler, almost any situation, especially when the mayflies and that are showing up. But it's a generic looking fly. You can fish this one just about any time I would think would be, be uh, appropriate when the fish are in the shallower water or up, up top in the surface. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Uh, for the hook, I'm going to be using uh, this Gamma Gatsu uh, P10, this is a Nymph Hook 2X long size 12. The th thread, I'm going to be using some 6 aught flat red thread. Wire, I'm going to be using some small red uh, wire for the ribbing. The tail, I'm going to be using some Coq de Leon, this is a, a Dunn color. This is a very, very nice tailing material. It's got a nice sheen and speckled appearance to it. Uh, that was on the original pattern and I, I like using that a, a lot as well. The body, um, now he, Morrill sent me up actual yarn. This is a Cascade yarn. Uh, is what he, he said. He sent me the actual yarn. I couldn't find it up here but here's the lot number 7730. If you can, you can order that it's a straight wool, 100% Peruvian Highland wool, as to be exact. But I can see where it. Uh, so I chopped it up very fine and, and blended it several times in my blender, and uh, it's got a great coloration there: dark browns, reds. Uh, there's a few other colors in there too to give it a nice accent. Then on the co uh, collar, we're going to use some of this darker um, partridge tackle in behind here for the collar. The secret to the fly, or a big add-on for me, is the ice dub, the UV pearl. The UV is, is, the, is the trick nowadays if you're using flies up top. These fish will really key on a UV products. We have a lot of neat stuff hitting the market now and uh, we can trick out some of these old fat patterns to make them a lot better. And uh, it's hard to improve on some of these but when you add UV in some of this, uh, it, it's, it, it's a game changer for sure. Okay, we'll put our hook in the vise. Start my thread on the front here. Right to the tail, tie-in point at the tail. I'll grab me one of the cocktail on uh, feathers here. Pinch off this little Piece off the side, get our tail measured the way we want. Take a turn around the back, and that'll give me my tie-in point. If it flares a little on you, that's good. This is a, a great tailing material for dry flies. Uh, Morrill used it on his this pattern, and I'm not changing that. I, I believe it's. I like the, the look of this Cochlidion uh, fiber. Now I better get some rib material on there, some of our red wire. It's all part of the original pattern. Throw in a half hitch. I'm going to use my uh, spinning vise here, rotary vise to dub. If not, use a dubbing loop. But chop this wool very fine and uh, you'll see short fibers is what you want. Make sure they're short and you get a nice uh, buggy appearance. It's really important when you have that buggy appearance in the water, it just traps that air and it gives it a, a great coloration. I just need to add a little bit here. Get a little bit of a taper at the head. 
and then I'll come in with my red wire for the rib. Cut that off. And then it's also a good idea if you like, just pluck that a little bit. See how that just how nice and short and buggy that body is? That is a very, very effective fly right there. And he puts on just a small little hackle, uh, a brown hackle on the front of that, and that's all he fishes, bar none. That's it. So, uh, all I'm going to do is my little variation here to show you what I've done. And I'm, I'm a believer in this UV and the soft hackles too. I just I love soft hackle flies. So I'm going to get a loose little dub here with my ice. Just get a little bit of a collar on there. That's the longer fibers, which is fine. And then I can just pull that off a little bit. I just want a little bit of my UV coming over most, just on the top basically. If it comes around the bottom a little bit, that's okay too. But that, that is a, a, a deadly product. UV is a the deal. Now I'll come in with one of my partridge hackles, catch by the tip, preen the end down, just tie the tip in at the uh, behind the eye. Grab my pliers, I like the spring loaded little pliers here for my soft hackles. That's my favorite for handling those because I can manipulate the stem a little easier. Take a couple turns. And then just come in the front, not tie anything down, cut the butt off. Oh, that only happens when you have the TV cameras rolling. So, here, let's do that again. I could reshoot that, but you know what? We're all human, things fall apart. We'll just roll with it the way it is. Okay, tie it in. Let's go again. Fold another one back. Keep it folded. Come around the back here. There we go. Now I'll just cut my butt off there. Hope everything sticks together. I'm just getting some of these all tied up. Go to the store. We're going to send a big order of flies over to that cam loop store for Brian casting loops. This will be some of them that are going there. So if you don't have the materials you want to pick up a few just give them a try or you want to fish the cam loops area there's some tremendous lake fishing opportunities over there. If you haven't fished it before it's a place you want to put on your bucket list if you're a lake angler. So there you go. There's not a not a lot of hackle on the front of this. I keep it fairly sparse, so it's almost like the little brown nymph. But th that soft hackle does breathe in the water a little bit. Uh, the UV you can pick that up out of there quite easily. And the fish are really going to see that. You can put a little head cement on there. I'm just grabbing some. This I just use some of this uh, solar as bone dry. Just coat my head. Get my little. Torch on the front, where is that? Okay, here it is. And cook that on. There. Switch was sticky. So we just roll this as just rolling raw footage for you today, but there's a nice uh, nice pattern for you. Improved little brown. So thanks again for watching folks, uh, we'll catch you again real soon, if you have any questions or any suggestions, get a hold of us, uh, Don, ask Don on, at Sport Fishing on the Fly uh, there and we can look after you. So thanks again, Hope have a good winter.